All right, guys, we're back. We didn't get any time whatsoever to recover from the Cena Owens match because we got right into Bo Dallas versus Neville. Bo cut a promo beforehand, basically cementing him as a heel, saying that tonight he's going to force everyone to Bo leave. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I did pick kind of, you know, it was my gut pick of the night that Bo Dallas was going to beat Neville. I really hope you're wrong, though. <laughs> oh, man. I, you know, obviously, as I said in previous predictions, I would like to be wrong as well. I feel like Neville's stock is way too high right now. I do think he's a surefire contender for money in the bank in two weeks. This matchup could go a long way in determining who gets that spot if they're not doing qualifiers, which they probably won't because, again, we only have two weeks unless they devote an entire episode of Raw to making those placements. I just really can't see how that would work. I feel I really look... bad for these guys needing to follow Kevin Owens versus John Cena. I do as oh, well, already? man. already? Already? Really? No. No, Bo's moving. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. That... Oh, moonsault. Oh, change direction and beautiful moonsault there by Neville. Yep, nailed it. Absolutely gorgeous. How gr- you know what though? I just can't stop thinking about Owen Cena, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I feel that's bad what for I'm these- saying. I feel so bad for these guys because they have to follow that. They have to follow that, and I, I have to like concentrate on that. I feel like you know, I, I just, we did, really didn't get enough time to recover from Owen Cena at all. Yeah. Um, but they man, should have <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I love Ambrose and Rollins, but they're gonna have the screwiest of screwy finishes, and I think everyone would feel better coming off this pay-per-view with that match that we just saw. Right. And now, yeah. <laughs> Bow, get back! <laughs> I love how, like, squeaky and, like, high his voice can get when he's all, like, flustered. I'm trying to help you! <laughs> <laughs> so good. You leave! I don't really use oh, this kind of... kicked in the face! <laughs> Oh, look oh. at that duck stand. Oh, look at, wow. Nice. Innovative ovens there from Bo. He uses the schoolboy as... Thing, yeah. Yeah, he used the schoolboy as an offensive maneuver. That's different. Yeah, no kidding. And, uh, Bo Dallas was such a dominant oh, NXT champion. Oh, Neville's arm into the ring. Be- yeah, the- very innovative offense here from Bo Dallas. I haven't seen this kind of offense from Bo. Yeah, it seems like Neville's knee hasn't even come into play yet either. That's an odd thing. That could be the that could be the deciding oh, fact wow. again. And Bo Dallas pulling a fit Finley here, using the ring apron to his advantage. Yeah, that's something Regal does sometimes too. I don't know if you saw the match, but there was a match between Regal and Dean Ambrose in FCW, where Regal literally pulled Dean Ambrose's arm through the turnbuckle while it was still attached. I think and I then, did see that. Yeah. Yeah, and then he did the tremble, the knee trembler onto the turnbuckle into Dean Ambrose's arm. God, Regal's amazing. <laughs> it was so brutal. <laughs> and then there was another spot in that match where he put Ambrose's arm between the ring post and the steel steps and then kicked the steel steps. Almost seems like Bo Dallas is working a, a cravat here. And now Neville gets to that vertical base. People uh, we've got out some on... We've got some, some fans on the Twitter feed here. One of them was like, oh, it's Beach Cena freaking out. Best in-ring debut ever, someone else said. Outstanding match from Tom J. Owen. I wonder if he's related to Kevin. Uh, <laughs> uh, OMG, this match is insane. Hashtag champion versus champion. Kevin Owens is the real deal. That's right, he is. The real on three. Yeah, this is... Yeah, that match is going to have set the world on fire. Everyone is going to want a piece of Kevin Owens now, and everyone might even decide that maybe NXT is worth watching now. (laughs) Yeah, hopefully. And again, Triple H has got to be beaming with Kevin Owens' performance, and that's definitely going to make my match of the year contender list for our year-end awards without question. Dude, what if Owens attacks Rollins tonight? That would be incredible. Oh, what if that's the big surprise? He did say in his Maybe the promo, big surprise was Owens winning clean. <laughs> he did say in his promo um, that his time was now, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, he said Cena's time was way up. Not even just up, but way up. He emphasized it. <laughs> Very interesting tactics by Bo. I mean, again, the knee hasn't even played a factor, and he's controlling that neck again with that cravat. He actually even used to try and get a pin attempt on Neville, but Neville able to shift his body weight. Oh, man, that could- um, Chris Hero would be proud with that cravat in. 
Absolutely. I mean, we don't really talk about uh, Bo Dallas's in-ring skill like too too much. It's always been about his personality, but I, I really appreciate the ground game he's playing. I just wish it was more psychologically sound and focused on the knee. That's my only critique. Uh, but Doesn't Neville now Nikki trying to Bella use like a cravat face smash on her knee. Yeah. Yeah, I knew she did no. that thing well, where just... she drove the person's face into her knee, but I don't remember how the setup was. I feel like it was a cravat. Bo Dallas. It's just toying with Neville at this point. Absolutely. Bo Dallas, you know, asking if they both leave. Neville's down. I, now. Yeah, this is crazy. I haven't seen him sell this much on the main roster. Other than the match with Cena, really. I don't think I've ever seen Bo this dominant. This, uh, this. Oh, he's going to go for a bow dog, I think, isn't he? No, just a back elbow to the head. Wow. Yeah, Bo keeping this offense very conservative for the moment. Not many high risks or anything like that. Again, he's played kind of a ground, more technically sound game than I'm used to seeing from Bo Dallas. Yeah, it's weird because like normally when we talk about people trying to ground someone, it's on NXT live specials. <laughs> but now look at Neville, they're picking up the pace, and oh, Bo just goes out there. That was an amazing bump. Wow, let's take a look at that again, shall yeah. we? Bam! Face into turnbuckle. <laughs> look at Bo's face. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, uh, he's got that Miz face where you just want to punch it so hard. I know, right? Especially when he <laughs> smiles. Yeah, yeah. Bo's smile is somehow even more punchable than Miz's, though. Yeah, that's a real feat right there. It's like they're they're matching each other in face punchiness pretty well, but as soon as the smiles come out, Bo wins in a mile, mile. Oh, there, there's Neville with the kick to the gut, and then the kick to the face, and then another kick and to the gut. Kick to the gut, and now he's going to come off the top of the middle rope and hit a drop kick. Nailed it. It, sh it should be noted that so far it seems like the knee has not bothered Neville. I don't know not if that's at all. adrenaline or, or what have you, but maybe the red arrow won't be that much of a concern as I originally thought. Standing shooting star press, and he gets it. Yep. How Beautiful. sweet would it be for Bo Dallas to get this win? He must be burning with just... Just humiliation, infuriation that Neville was the one who ended his NXT championship reign, that Neville was the one who cast his shadow upon Bo Dallas, when at a time it was Bo Dallas casting his shadow over the entirety of NXT. Yep. Shoves Neville off. Trying to slow the pace down. Look at that again from Bo there with the headbutt, and then spikes the DDT. Brutal. I'll tell you, Bo's offense has been unorthodox at times, again, conservative at others, but I'll be damned if it hasn't been effective. Yeah. And Neville was getting ready to get in that second gear, but Bo, I think, with all that experience with Neville back in NXT, knew how to put a stop to it, at least for the moment. Yeah. Bo's kind of looking off into space. I don't know what he's thinking about. Looks like he's looking, maybe he's going to do the, the gimmick that he did in NXT, where he would remove the turnbuckle to get the win. Oh, wait, running Bo Dog here. Yeah, he wants it. That slides it. Throw That's, in oh, Neville. What a, yep. What a kick. Perfect positioning. Inzagiri and perfect position and red arrow. Let's go, Neville, to the top. To the top rope. No wasted motion here. I think this is going to be it. Oh, Neville. Is he going to hit it? If he hits it, it's over. Here we go. Poe's going to move, isn't he? Nope. That's it. It's over. Match over. Bam. And it wins. Thank you, WWE, for your logic. Woohoo! There it is. Awesome. It's, that makes that me so happy so that they didn't make that more complicated than it needed to be. That match was so weird to me because, I mean, I'm happy for the outcome, but that knee didn't play a part at all. No, it didn't. I took a chance with Bo, and you, you dance with Huberunga. He ate the red arrow, but for Neville's career, I am happy about this result. Again, surefire uh, participant in Money in the Bank in two weeks. And can you imagine that red arrow off a 20-foot ladder? I yeah, sure really. as hell can. He All right, well, spot. I mean, that was a really, really quick match. That match might have been just as long as the Divas match, to be honest. Yeah crazy yeah really congratulations to neville big time oh, all right 
Yeah, well, I mean, hey, guys, that, that that's the match. We already cut to the back. They're showing Ambrose and Reigns, and we still have the Intercontinental Championship main event. Is Wait, is wait, elimina- wait, is the Elimination Chamber with a main event this show? Maybe. That would be crazy. But regardless, guys, we're not going to react to promos or anything like that unless it's Kevin Owens. That's the, the exception to the rule. Uh, yeah. So we're, we're going to cut the recording off here, and we'll see you for wh- whatever match is next. I'm assuming it'll be Intercontinental Championship Elimination Chamber, but they might sh- just kind of, you know, pull the wool out, pull the uh, rug out from under our feet and be like, nope, you're, uh, you're going to get the uh, Elimination Chamber as the main event. So we'll see you guys for whatever's next.